What's up, YouTube? It's the chef coming from the Gundam Kitchen, and we got an order from Japan in. Now, uh, not your normal big old Gundam shipment like I get, but this is a builder's delight right here. I'm telling you, look at that God hands. So hard to get. And look at the brand new ones with the little logo on there. Last pair I got didn't even have the logos. So you got the uh, ultimate and then the one right underneath it. $10 difference. To me, epoxy. I hear this is the truth. This is that hot stuff in the streets. Can never get my hands on it. For some reason, they don't distribute it in the U.S. And it's always sold out in Japan. So got it in finally. Been waiting on this for like a year and a half. Been hearing about this stuff. They've been releasing a bunch of water slides. This is uh, set 108. So you got Exia, Zeta, Unicorn, um, Origin stuff. All these nice water slides. Iron Blood Orphans. Look at that. Who would have thought they had Iron Blood Orphans water slides? I think you guys have been complaining enough to Bandai about not having water slides for their stuff. So they got on the ball. And then uh, if you guys were here for our class with uh, Tim Child on Mecca and Justinius Builds, Tim recommended these books. So I got them in for you guys. They are all in Japanese, but hey, you can use your Google goggles or any other translated software, or it's pretty self-explanatory, man. This stuff is so cool. They have it broken down in real detail. This man built a frame from scratch. Nuts. So good stuff. Get these books. You don't see them in the U.S. You only find them on like Amazon. You can ship from Japan. Here's another one. This is like basic modeling stuff, but uh, really good detail. It's not like basic, basic. This is good stuff in here. Got the metal T squares, metal paint stirs. Look at all those Kotobukiya weapons. Craziness. Swords, giant swords, more swords, chainsaws. Why does a mech need a chainsaw? I don't know. Sniper rifles with more sharp weapons. Weird laser bazookas and bazookas. And what? More swords. And why not? Who doesn't need a meat cleaver as a robot? Why not? Got the Kodo hands. These are like a massa gray size. Really nice detail on them. Tim was also telling us about Ulf. He swears by him. So uh, I know Gundam Nerd got a a blade from them a couple weeks ago. I checked it out, didn't get to cut with it, but the balance is beautiful, so I got these in too. This one is comparable to the uh, Tamiya's Pro Knife, which everybody talks about. This is the same, but better and cheaper. And then these, man, smoke is Acto, so sorry, Acto. Got the replacement blades. They even have this weird uh, knife breaker thing if you get the uh, retractable knife. And then the BMC chisels, legendary chisels. Got them in. We're talking about them at the class. We got them in. Hope you guys know next class, October 14th, it's all going to be about that scribing. So, might want to get your chisels ready. Then got loaded up on the Gundam markers. Hard to get all these in the U.S. Like they came in black has been sold out forever in the U.S. I had to get them overseas. Let's check out the kits. Machine and Krager. If I said that right, I don't know. But these are real cool. If you want to mix it up, you know, get off the Gundam for a little bit. Very realistic looking mech suits. You know, something you can see in a in the near future. They just scrap together. If everything fell apart and they had to scrap together, but they had the technology for uh, mechs. Then you got some um, more rare uh, Gundam suits here. You don't see these too often. And then the cool Gundam ground set. I've had this in before. Comes with the hover. Hover trucks. You get two different heads. On your ground Gundam. SDs. For some reason, the old school SDs are disappearing out there. Hard to find them nowadays, so I try to grab them while I still could get them. Here's another one that's really hard to get, that MG Titus. 
And then the new one. I guess it's still a Frame Arm Girls, but it's a, I forgot the new, whatever series they're from, but this is a new one. And then you got, I'm not going to try to butcher this poor girl's name, but that one. And I'm going to show you inside that box because that one's real nice. Black is Arrow Snyder, Lightning Sykes, Shadow Fox, a straight up Frame Arms right here. Box art doesn't do it justice. Let me show you what it looks like. This thing's pretty badass. Then if you want to get real creative, I got the frame arms, just the frame. And then you Pokemon fans, Pokemon kits. Check that out. This one comes with three and one. You get to make Pikachu with a hat on. How crazy is that? All right, let's check out that frame arms girl. So first of all, she comes from this kit. That's a good looking kit, but they stepped it up for her. All oh, this guy, his parts are clear blue, right? Check this out. They gave her iridescent blue. This is what I love about Kodo. They just give you that little extra bit that makes a kit special right in the box. You know, gotta paint that. I mean, that's pretty hard to find something that's not gonna melt plastic and do that kind of effect. Comes with a base, very nice. I mean, you pay enough for these, so I guess they should throw it in there. And then look at the faces. Really nice faces, already done for you. But then there's a sheet of water slides in there, so if you wanna do some extra faces, you can do that too. They give you one blank face, and you have uh, these eye sets you can put on yourself. And the sticker sheet's not crazy. I mean, you just see a couple blue stickers there. It's not too bad. So, uh, that's the Japanese shipment. And then the other thing coming up, I've been shooting a video for this one because I want to show you guys a test, but uh, Vallejo has just come out with a metal line. Or I'm sorry, not a metal line, a mecha line. So they kind of mecha colors, and the difference between this and their regular like game air and stuff like that, this is airbrush ready, but it's tougher than the uh, previous lines of their paint because they realize guys who are building Gundams and Kota Bikia kits are moving them around and their stuff's just like scraping right off because we all know that most most acrylics don't have the adhesion of uh, stronger paints so these try to solve that problem and I sprayed apart and after 12 hours I scratched it up and it definitely did better than the original Vallejo Game Air colors it is not a scientific test of course but uh it felt like it did better so I wanted to wait a week and let it really set and dry because that's what's up with uh, acrylics. You're not going to get your full um, bonding until after about a week when they really dry up and set in. So I'll probably have that video for you later this week and we'll see how well it does. And I also use their matte spray on there. This matte spray is real pretty, man. Real nice, smooth. You don't get that kind of, you know, sometimes when you use Mr. Uh, Top Coat, you get that little bit of graininess. This is real nice and smooth. So, good stuff. Hopefully the test will work out the way I think it will. And we'll have something that's a lot stronger than their regular. And then water base, you're going to love it. Because you can spray this stuff with barely any, any, ugh, sorry, with barely any ventilation. So, you can pretty much you know crack the window and get going on this stuff. Beautiful. And the colors, they don't have all those crazy like game air colors. They just have blue, red. So... <laughs> I think they got a nice amount of colors. It's probably about 80 colors, but uh, they're pretty basic. And they have like a rust texture and everything like that. So they, they've thought it, thought it out. I'm sure more will be coming. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Probably see that video from me later in the week. And we also have a Gum Gundam shipment, I think, Thursday. So it's going to be a nice week. Stop by the store. Talk to you later.